She and they knew each other. Now she, she knows. She knows them. Yes. Told them when he went back, I'm like, I, by the time he gets back and he's in his penalty, you guys are pretty much going to be done. 
like your day anyway, but you need to be on hold because somebody's putting the phone on Saturday. She, Sandy explained to her, she says, no, both of their grandmothers are named Sandy. Wow. And so rather than saying Grandma Sandy, or, yeah. that's what they do. When they were little peanuts, like there's, yeah. they, they have nothing there's about no race. And she's yeah. like, it's yeah. my hair. My hair is white. And I'm tall. So to them, I'm big, white, white grandma. She is tall, though. She's about six feet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, but it was really cool. So he, he saved his own money, and then he also used buy a bunch of shit that a kid like him doesn't need anyway. Yeah. He he spends and I mean those those two things yeah. included with like seven or eight. I mean it was a few hundred dollars worth of stuff. Oh, so they went to like six. Six. Yeah. Get on Facebook. Hey, did her other grandchild make it? I know the one twin died, but did the other one make it? Yeah, she's she's got so many problems yeah. though, so yeah. many. Yes. And she's what is she now? Really? Fifteen months old, and she wears. She's still in zero to three months of clothes. She weighs like fifteen or sixteen pounds. That's it. Everybody's like, wow, she's really advanced for for a baby.
institutions give all unilateral required. And she was she turned into twins. She oh up, no. Get this. Sixty seven pregnant women in their medical group, like across the state. Sixty seven of them went into labor less than two weeks after receiving their COVID shots. Oh, boy. And most of those babies died. Most of them died. And all of them, so they all came together. The hospital and medical group tried to keep them all separated. They started sending babies to different hospitals so that the parents didn't see each other in the main place. Oh, my Pretty God. Cagey. Talk about coercion. And somebody found, so, so oh, they've got such a, they've got such a case. It's a big, it's now a class action lawsuit. Good for and them. And they got somebody, somebody on the inside filtered memos that specifically said they wanted them to go yeah, to the hospitals. Yeah. yeah. Yes, 
in that group. Just in that medical group. Just in that group. And they had been, she had her Facebook, shut her Facebook account down because she posted, she was just posting, it was like a, it was, it was therapeutic for her. Like this is what they were going through with the babies. Sure. And they shut her down because she was spreading lies and misinformation. How is mi misinformation when you're diet, you're, 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 you lived it. You lived it. Like journaling what, what you're experiencing. How is that misinformation? I truly, truly hope that they are able to. I figured I would take a little girl I, out. Okay. I ran into her once about a year ago. The last time I saw Sam, she was on the And she just hung me for about half an hour. Did you just yeah, pee right there? In front of the bakery. You did. And I just let her go.